you saw that that alleged leak, right? Of the the alleged PS5 Slim. Uh, I believe it. I believe it. Uh, you think it's real? This is I mean, it, ladies and otherwise gentlemen. someone went into like a lot of trouble like making this. This is if this is a fake, it's probably the best one I've seen for hardware leaks. Uh, it's not easy to create fake molds of plastic and like this many that are very precise. It, it's just it's not that easy. To be clear, everybody, this is the shell. So this is just the plastic housing that the console goes into. I don't think they're saying that the console is actually assembled inside of this, but um, this is allegedly yeah, what it looks yeah. like. Yeah. If it, you're listening, go to uh, uh, an hour and 50 minutes and you can see it. <laughs> yeah. An hour and, uh, just oh, to an describe hour and it, um, it's it looks like a PS5 with two black lines about halfway up that are slightly slanted um, up as they reach from the back to the front. And these separate portions on the right side, if you're looking at the PS5 front on, it looks as though you can remove the bottom panel of white and then replace it with uh, the disk drive that will basically click on somehow, uh, maybe by sliding or with a screw or something. So it has a detachable disk drive, but it's not just like a plug into the USB-C port. It's an actual attachment to the console cool. itself, yeah. which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting them to be um, a little less graceful with this, but I think this is a nice way of doing it. Uh, but how will it look without it? So th that that's kind of my question, because obviously the whole thing with the leaks for this was that you would just buy it probably for three ninety nine or so $400, and then you got like the digital PS5, but then if you wanted the disk drive, you instead of having to buy a completely new PS5, you just attach this sort of yeah disk drive to the PlayStation Five. But yeah, it seems like you can like kind of yeah get it off or something, and then without it, it will just be like the flat sort of yeah. Um, That's what case. I would expect. It, it it looks a little, uh, but like maybe not even. It it looks barely smaller than a, a regular PS5. It might not even actually be smaller um no it's so everybody assuming that this was a slim it's it's really not it looks just as thick if if not exactly as thick as uh as the current ps5 it seems yeah. as though this entire thing is being created just to create a new SKU number for the console and to simplify manufacturing so instead of manufacturing yeah, yeah. two different models that are completely separate they only have to manufacture one and then if you want the disk drive, that's an add on that you just pop off and pop on. Honestly, they probably should have just done this from the start, but I think they didn't anticipate how frustrating it would be to develop two identical or two similar SKUs at the same time. So this is not going to be something where you need to sell your current PS5 to get this one. This is just something that's going to replace the current model in stores, really. And there are two USB-C uh, ports on the front. Yeah, which which I think is like a huge plus, uh, because why 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 go back to the three point oh? Yeah, I mean I think yeah. it's I wouldn't call it like a a huge plus. I th like I've never used more than one to just charge a controller. So like for me, it's like okay. <laughs> yeah, they do have to they do have to give you like USB C USB C dude though then <laughs> in yeah. the box. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, it won't work. But like, do you still think that that was, of course, I think what we talked about before? They're probably going to send out these these PS fives. Like I, we're calling it slim just to simplify it, but it will probably be just be PlayStation Five. This is the new one. Hey, this is the only one that's there. Do you think they're gonna like put out like a lot of them, and then the disc drive is like very hard to find? I still think that's probably gonna happen. I. I, I, I would agree. I think it's going to happen, but they are going to, and again, just be clear for everybody. This is pure speculation. This is just YouTubers talking nonsense, but to me, it makes too much sense. If I'm the executive at Sony and selling more digital copies increases the bottom line, why on earth would I make it easier for you to spend money in a different way that makes me less money? I like if I just happen to accidentally order too few of the disk drives, it greatly helps my business. 
I'm gonna <sighs> accidentally do that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't I? And they're gonna play dumb. They're gonna be like, oh, it's just we've we, you know manufacturing problems and difficulties. We just can't keep yeah, them yeah. in stock. It's weird. I just don't know what's happening. But yeah, I I think it's they're gonna help I, I, people convert. Yeah, I I don't totally think we will have stories where like shops are like, yeah, we got like a hundred PS5s, like a small shop or whatever, and like ten <laughs> ten uh, extra like. Uh, detachable disk drives yeah. something like that it's, it's gonna be crazy yeah um and and for a lot of people it's like you you you're alert like if you don't have a ps5 right now like obviously there can be many reasons for that but usually when people buy a console later in a the generation they're not like they're real hardcore right they're not like i can't sleep because the ps5 is coming out tomorrow they're like casual gamers they play a few games per, per year or maybe play on a different platform like, I think those people are like, whoa, this console is 400 bucks. Let's get it. And if they then hear, yeah, you have to spend an extra $100, they're like, oh, I'm fine. Oh, I will just check the digital stuff. I I, I tried it a bit. Yeah. It was fine. I think, like, even with COVID, we saw the the numbers or the number of people that switched to digital, like, skyrocket. Like, it went way faster than, like, if COVID did not happen, we probably would not have seen the attachment rate on digital games yeah. than what we're seeing now so yeah. it will only like go for and it will be pretty sad for like well, what are you gonna do if you have a local game shop I, I know there are not a lot of them but even if you have like a a big one where physical games is still your bread and butter and you're selling this ps5 you're basically saying hey i will see you never again bye bye <laughs> like it's such a weird thing right yeah no, I, I, I agree. It's clearly where the industry is going. And to address uh, Stefan's point in chat um, that it looks fake because it looks like just a regular PS5, just as thick with just a cut in the plates. To be clear, the only people like Sony has not said anything about making a PS5 slim. What Xbox said in the Activision case was that they expect like a mid-gen refresh model um and an updated skew from them which is what this is i think they referred to it colloquially uh, colloquially as a slim but that's just because last generation it happened to be slimmer usually these updates are done to make like basically simplified manufacturing and all that uh, this seems to be doing is is exactly that this just seems to be a skew that they can sell one model of ps5 and then if you want to disk yeah. drive, it's a, a, an accessory, basically, instead of having to sell and stock two totally separate versions of the same console. So yeah, yeah. to me, there's nothing about this that is that far out of line. And the people that have reported it, like I think um, Tom Henderson from Insider Gaming, he was even saying that uh, this is in line with what's been reported from them and what they've gotten from their sources. So if people are expecting like a much slimmer or much different looking PlayStation five, I think we only have ourselves to blame because Sony hasn't said anything yet. It's all just been speculation, but um, it's not as exciting as I think people were hoping. It's just a PS five that you but can swap. The, the yeah. On. on the other hand, are people really that already have a PS five are going to get a smaller one? If, if it have like, I think, I think you'd be surprised. I, I've said before, PlayStation really? is the Apple of the gaming industry. People like to flex. I mean, just look at when the PlayStation 5 launched. It was like a social status thing to have a PS5. It was like the thing. Even people, I was working in real estate at the time, people that were not gamers were asking me if I had gotten a PS5 yet. And they're like, yeah, I've got, I'm looking for one too. And I'm like, dude, you're like 65 years old. There's no way you're going to use it. But they just wanted the social status of having it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. It doesn't make sense. But just like everybody wants the newest Apple Watch or the newest iPhone for the social status of it, it also applies to PlayStation stuff for whatever reason. It's yeah, really but that's like weird. different because it's like a new screen and new camera. And with the Switch, you get like the OLEDs. But here it's like a smaller box that does the same thing. I think maybe or yeah. I, I think know. people would uh, like also if if you're. I I think that they're again. I don't have uh, like precise numbers to back this up. This is just blind assertions that nobody should take seriously. But I do. I I've seen a good number of people that if they can flex that they got the latest PlayStation gadget or accessory, and it's not just PlayStation, it's also Xbox people do this too, but if they get the ability to flex that they got the newest gadget, they will. 
And especially if it's a noticeable thing that they can put in their little like studio setup, they'll just happen to set it right here, right where you can see it just in frame and everybody will look at it and be like, are you, wow, are you talking you about yourself or are you? Are oh, you for sure. Like, no, like okay, I, okay. <laughs> I, I would, I would not buy the PS5 slim just because frankly, the current PS5 works fine. The PlayStation 5 Pro or whatever they end up calling yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. yeah. Jumping on that yeah. day one. Um, but one I think people were just... Tracing. Yeah, baby. Um, I just think like people were starting to expect that this would be a bigger and more exciting kind of mid-gen refresh announcement. Oh, it would look yeah. a little different. And so when they announce this, there's probably going to be people that are like, what the heck? This is so boring. But it's like, yeah, it was... It wasn't meant to excite people. It was meant to simplify manufacturing. And I know that's not as exciting, yeah. but it just is the case. Like this was never meant to be that thrilling. Yeah.